Right. So, <clears throat> very good morning, all of you. Again, one one greeting to be related. The happy Republic Day for you all of. Hope uh, celebrated. But anyway, school days are school days, right? After that, we don't know. Okay, it's there or not. But again, uh, definitely you will be part and parcel after the school days if you get to public service. And especially the SIAs, IPAs, or group one, group two gather. Once you are in, you are in one way or another part and parcel of the flag hosting part, right? Either you will do at your office, or you will be the chief guest, or some other function, or something like this, and that will become the part of it. So you can understand the significance of these two national the MSA festivals, the Independence Day, or Republic Day. So I wish you all of you, okay, after school days or school days, no doubt, okay, in future, you will be the part and parcel of the celebrations, okay. So let's hope the best and more. So once you have this Republic, Republic, and um, most of them even find it difficult to know the difference between Independence Day and Republic Day. Huh? <laughs> Uh, literal meaning also is important. And uh, this is an also. Okay. No doubt when independence, simply we can say we become free from the foreign clutches, say the British rule, become independent. And Republic Day, everybody will say Constitution came into force. If that be the call, we should have simply called Constitutional Day. Why Republic Day? And already we are celebrating Constitutional Day, a different date. What is that? November 26, the date on which the Constitution of India was finalized. That's what we call adopted. Isn't it? So that means we are already celebrating that. A law day. Because Constitution is the supreme law of the land. And some provisions, like elections, rules regarding citizenship came into force from the date of adoption itself. November 26, 1949, those they came into force. Because the rules regarding election, citizenship and election came into force, so we are able to celebrate Republic Day. Republic. Can you tell me the, what is the meaning of it? Huh? In the preamble, right? Whenever we are saying sovereign, socially, secular, democratic, republic. Okay? The preamble declared it India. But at that time, it is only sovereign, democratic, republic. The word socially, secular were added later. Which amendment? 42nd amendment. But republic is there from the day one. At that time, when the constitution was adopted, is it India republic? The day constitution adopted is 26th November 1949. My question is, is it on the day India is republic? It's not. It's not on that day. The number of competitive examination, you will find that question. The status of India, okay, the status of India between August 15, 1947, and January 26, 1950 is, that was, including civil groups, banks, innumerable exams, you will find that question. What we call that? Huh? It's a dominion status. India is. From 1947 to 1950. Why? We are independent, no doubt. We are sovereign. Okay? We are not republic. Republic, when you use the word, the two words it is. Public, you know the people. Re means elected. Elected by 
the people who head of the state as we adopted a parliamentary system okay we adopted we got two forms of government either the parliamentary system or presidential system of course now we have mixed form of parliamentary system like france sri lanka that is there but we adopted parliamentary system as we are habituated to it the british legacy wherein you will have nominal executive and real executive otherwise head of the state head of the government okay telugu desha adhyakshudu prabhutva adhineta two differences you will find entire government runs on the name of the head of the state that is the president in india but in reality it was steered by the prime minister is head of the government okay and you will find that system only in parliamentary form of government where the president is nominal in britain there is no president then who will be the head of the state prime minister is there yeah king or queen because it's a monarchy same thing in you will find in japan is a monarchy okay that's what that's what technically called constitutional monarchy okay constitutional monarchy if we call only monarchy this is nothing but a dictatorship okay when you use the word constitutional monarchy that means there is a parliamentary system and prime minister is there and prime minister and his government they are elected okay elections so democracy is there that's how the system you need to be aware so once the constitution stipulated republic president should be that is head of the state till 1947 who is the head of state in india under the british governor general viceroy and governor general right now no more viceroy viceroy means the representative of the king vice deputy deputy of the royalty royal is the king how you can differentiate this concept is so we designate as a governor general no more lord mount batten like last and now india's turn okay we can't immediately no doubt we adopted parliament system nehru became prime minister when huh? when nehru became prime minister 47 or 48 46 itself very good right under when is a cabinet mission recommendations constituent assembly was created interior government was created right these two recommendations of course we have chosen the nehru as a prime minister at that time so nehru became prime minister in 46 itself but as we adopted a parliamentary system we required head of the state a constitutional head we required then we continued for time being the governor general post the reason why the last governor general of british india became the first governor general of independent india who mount batten mount batten became the first governor general of independent india for few months later our indian took over who raja rajagopala char he is the first indian became the governor general of independent india first indian not first part right he is the second governor general but first indian that's also a competitive exam question okay that very carefully look into the question the part is concerned isn't it and is that governor general elected no nehru was elected remember right there the team like no president prime minister how is get elected by the majority party which of the party leadership right that party members to choose same thing at the time was done but it's not the case with governor general so governor general has to be appointed 
previously british used to appoint the governor general so we continued that trend till alternative measures were formed so governor general was appointed not so as it is appointed that part we called as the dominion later elected so once constitution came into force rules regarding citizen because only citizens have right to vote am i right others have no citizens what what the age at the time 21 now 18 which amendment reduced voting age from 21 to 18 huh <laughs> say whenever right i am talking about this holistic preparation and something like this this is the way once you recollect okay you will never ever ever never forget the matters okay simple way of remembering things random recollection okay order if you go by immediately you will say so right so randomly make it up and that will be imprinted virtually on it okay and that sort of preparation we required my dears okay this is what i insist on this one why we make this current affairs a different way not the stuff the thing okay whatever in and around we wish to you brief you huh 60 right so the rules regarding citizenship came so citizen only can vote now right and republic head of the state is to be elected so the our first president get elected then india become republic otherwise it not have been the reason why why those two rules came into for once civil service interview question okay in the process sometimes you don't know what sort of the questions appears and you need to be aware of those things also if you read the original text and apply your own common sense and logical derivatives then you can answer these questions otherwise no okay so the first president who abu rajendra prasad got elected as per the rules of the constitution then constituent assembly became a parliament okay constituent assembly duty is not only make the constitution but also day to day rules and regulations laws also for the governing of india from the day one now the duty one duty is over second duty continued till the new parliament came into force so till the new parliament created in 1952 constituent assembly itself acted as the parliament members are there so whatever be the thing supposed to be done by the parliament has done by the constituent assembly as a interim parliament that's how the president of india get elected and our first president right babu rajendra prasad incidentally he himself is the was the president of constituent assembly assumed office on january 26 from ward member to the president right gully to delhi otherwise everywhere thing is to be elected represent the people to to make it symbolically we made the reason why flag is is unfurled by prime minister on independence day whereas flag was hoisted by president on republic day so the things will be different in a way and importance for the president right that's all the few basic things compulsory we need to be aware and uh, in one form or another you'll have in the examinations as well so now that with the 75th one and why we have chosen when january 26 the date is also a crucial though november 26 right immediately parliament uh, constituent assembly become parliament rajya prasad have elected immediately 
right why waited is to remember historical significance day that is of 1930 january 26 nothing but what purna swaraj okay there there is maj bin bhavani s61 yes, mentioned right purna swaraj right good again maybe a question recollection indian national congress finally declared that the ultimate aim of freedom struggle is to get purna swaraj which session has taken decision and who is the president at that time inta sepa which session and who is the was the president of congress at that time yeah asma mentioned lahore good lahore session yes jawala nehru or motila nehru nehru no doubt <laughs> at that time motila nehru is very popular because of nehru report 1928 right nehru report very much is that but here lahore session was headed by jawaharlal nehru not more than that is right <laughs> okay so even that is a question in the competitive number of times it appeared in our exams okay number of times and what you can do is uh, whenever two three persons gathered something just randomly open ask each other the questions okay either looking at or whatever you recollected it doesn't matter the other person will answer it or not and advantage for you is that answer will right ring in your mind number of times ring 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 right ring ring like with this and definitely it will be imprinted <laughs> whoever asked the question he is the most beneficiary okay don't bother about are that person will know about the answer okay because knowledge is everybody's domain only thing is recollecting at that time that to in the strain of examination hall right very important and uh, you have to make it it is a habit once you make it a habit i am sure that okay you will derive the benefits out of it so it's a lahore session 1929 december not 1930 1929 even on the last day december 31st final decision has taken and chosen this date and from the date onwards every year we are choosing it okay so that's also a, an important part you have to keep in mind then few more thing also a quick recollection and uh, it was handwritten at that time because right now the computers and everything till 1985 in india you will not find the computers also right though type machines and everything something is there so the constitution is handwritten and the name of the calligrapher prem bihari narain raised up okay and uh, the paintings was done by an artist nandanlal bose and his team from shantiniketan these are also number of quiz questions a number of competitive examination especially state level you will find even today and ssc banking once you are mentioning this question is regular okay so and these paintings when you say this okay if you zoom it properly and do this one you will find this all these things of ancient civilizations freedom struggle depict the scenes from the ramayana and mahabharata as well and again uh, this incident if you see this right these are all religious pictures in a way you can see it also here recently when the ram mandir issue arises why the government is doing and some questions india's secular credentials and uh, even some celebrities posted the preamble it is again a secular secularism highlighted the, the thing is concerned but the 
fail to forget about the border <laughs> okay border right background it's there and the uh, fact you have to remember this when you say secularism it is not anti religious nor irreligious okay it is not against any religion because religion is based on belief if you believe god is there he is there if he is not he is not there that is secularism tolerance live and let live peaceful coexistence is the essence of secularism individual have the freedom to profess practice propagate any religion mentioned in our article 25 very clearly that and when you come to the government government should not have official religion that negative connotation is there and another negative connotation is it should not favor or discriminate other so once you are doing something for something it doesn't mean you are discriminating other stern may come up isn't it and once upon time criticism is to show to the world that we are more and more secular we are bending towards minorities especially muslims that's one of the criticism once upon a time also so the criticism is always be there but when you quoting something has to be very careful in a way isn't it when you are quoting the authority source because of that time criticizing and why i'm saying this when the preamble they quoted and the pictures they forgot in is the rama is there very much in preamble the picture of the rama okay so when you say rama rajya is a very favorite slogan of whom gandhi ji whom we call our father of the nation right and uh, the village panchayats when he talking about he wanted to introduce and he called the villages as little republics isn't it? everything is there like that. so that word is there from the thing okay and ramarajya's nature general government runs governance greatest good to the greatest number that is the governance model some people may suffer let it be so but greatest good should be happen for the greatest number that was considered as the best government in democracy okay you are constructing the dam some are losing their land some are losing their villages right but beneficiary are more for example that's how they are considered the best but ramarajya is not that not even iota of criticism should not be there is it general concept of ramarajya okay that what no you somebody pointed out one thing so he sent sita out so even an iota of doubt the iota of question of credibility should not arise that's the concept and it's an ideal okay and preamble reflected that ideal how an ideal india should be okay the reason why we call philosophical foundations of india was reflected in the preamble and for one reason or another at that time the word secular was not added it was added later though all secular credentials are there in the constitution of india isn't it really with these two names and uh, what is all this border part you have to keep in mind then uh, one more thing also uh when you say this uh, was appointed for the task in the october itself right and the kripal singh shekhawat and pranmal then uh, the few more contributors intricate patterns because these are all very things including the national emblem everything by the <coughs> diohar ramonohar sinha as well as the uh, dinanath barkawa so there are all the different people contribute is all the border when you say the right the preamble part is concerned reflects so keeping in view this criticism i just thought of it and uh, indian express okay this picture i got it from the indian express and wonderfully they made the things done okay 
this you can see this one even who have you ever observed the preamble the border <laughs> generally we will not zoom it right <laughs> okay we'll just take it for granted in a way even that's there see okay so this is a concept called we integrates everything here the history religion so causing indian cultural riches from indus valley civilization into buddhist traditions right so bharatatva is bharatatva certain things counts a minute things sometimes counts my dear okay and uh, especially when the persons in authority powers is concerned you have to take care that artwork is not so simple is a creative thing right the reason why is a creative so innumerable things you can incorporate into that okay so the reflexes over that even the gandhi ji's picture is there in this okay so what part is concerned so if you zoom it all right all these things are there in the preamble okay the reason why one civil service question there is examine the philosophical foundations of indian constitution a 20 marks question and some answered some didn't answer at all because at that time if those understand what is philosophical foundation where is they, where they are then only if the simple instead of asking examine the preamble or evaluate the preamble they asked it so question is in a different manner who are understand you have nothing but you have to explain the preamble instead of asking directly is in direct way they asked it okay. is a mains question at the time then later after the mains question number of times in prelims and different exam that question was posed the philosophical foundation reflects in and most of the tick direct to principles some ticked in fundamental rights okay and they forgotten about this preamble and everything is there in the preamble my dears okay so there is a brief things about this the constitution republic any doubts then of course when we back to this the few pictures i just thought of selecting the other day one of the catchy thing is then so again age gold right now the only president prime minister with the convoy black convoys and uh, latest high tech cars and uh, it all bullet proofs and everything but away from it almost all 40 years after again we are able to see the horse ride and uh, the president the draupadi murmu and here with us macron why he is sitting beside the yeah, seat is vacant not that no sorry he is a chief guest the most important thing you have to keep in mind right chief guest of the day and uh, this process we initiated from 1955 itself every year we are calling and only during this covid scenario okay 21 right we missed then otherwise every time we'll have the chief guest of the day so french president okay emmanuel macron and 23 if you look at the egyptian president abdel fatah so see and 20 brazilian so here miss right 21 and of course another part also and uh, this 18 is very symbolic you are not one 10 guess at the time number of competitive that was posed white and they represent a group asian association of southeast asian nations all 10 countries okay the asian way considered one and all of them came on this so like this you have the with part is concerned and 22 and 
you have the no guest due to this yes two years we don't have okay then so this yes become the women centric and with the theme of viksit bharat bharat loktantri ki matrika again this uh, may be an important from exam point of view because every occasion every summit every important event sometimes carry with the theme so the theme of this viksit bharat bharat loktantra ki matrika so a priority was given to the women as women centric and uh, nearly 144 personals of this tri services women contingent participated for the first time so each uh, with the 48 personals each on this one and uh, no doubt when you say that women empowerment you are not just saying you are doing something and now you are showing up they are there right even nda now it's allowed so everywhere their presence is there and uh, recent uh, chandrayaan okay there you will find this leadership of the women and they too invited as the guests here and number of private functions even in hyderabad okay your help and those team who are be there they to invite if they are residing in a particular uh, apartment or part is concerned they are invited as the guests and flag hosting was done by them so like this the incident so we were recognizing the contributions here and the women is let them encourage it so that process is on and uh, one of the thing of course innumerable thing attention for this so when this bsf women and doing it look at the cine uh, movie what right hitherto we saw it only in a movie related rather than action uh, real action mode though innumerable thing and uh, really it uh, attracted my attention so that clearly shows that they are on the right path of theirs no constraints especially the physical constraints so when there is no mental constraints no physical constraint there is a message it's sending in a way so everywhere you will find the thing is concerned then of course another speciality and always when is modi governors after coming to force uh, the thing is concerned one by one one another they will make it something special something different from last okay and the farmers okay as a special guest and good idea right when you say the agriculture is a backbone of india good what you are doing it is one thing and this is symbolic right yes we recognize they represent the farmers okay though others are routine in a way the part but this is uh, something it is concern so about 1500 farmers and their spouses they are not even ignore them right and agriculture both the husband wife right the contribution is essential or the overall family involvement is essential sometimes and they recognized uh, it was concern okay and uh, there is uh, a government sponsored okay organization called fpos farmers producers organizations and who will be invited now those beneficiaries are invited in this one okay and the government vision here jan bagi dhari so this what the government vision in that so to involve the people 
in every occasion this is the part and parcel of it and in addition to that you will find these all foreign faces the foreign contingent of course the french foreign legion took part in this republic day as such okay then french president himself with the chief guest previously bangladesh right nepal like this a few countries also now when then you will find this participating in this one and this remember this guy again i think what is this kartavya path okay this what now previously rajpath now it become the kartavya path where the parade has taken place and this is another special every year right uh, definitely i feel of observing this emotions will rouse at its heights what is this ha kal jakran ke mani priyanka india pakistan asmay saying hmm can you link the border right what is that border name where is that border point wagha point in a wagha point w a g h and what is called what it is called the ceremony even they shout a lot okay physical movement arises gates open this side that side okay now uh, almost all but 10 15 minutes is an emotions will arouse at its heights from the both the corners then after doing everything they will distribute the sweets and they happy <laughs> you are me like this okay what it is called i use the word the suffix retreat what retreat Hmm? Yeah, yeah. Asma is only mentioning a beating retreat. Good, beating retreat. Okay. And if you observe, uh, saw it already. All right. Otherwise, YouTube is there. Beating retreat. Just like this. No doubt reflects the narios as such. Okay. So there's a few points I just made. The thing is concerned. in the waga border that is and uh, apart from the celebrations at the same we recognize the services our fathers too we recognize whoever sacrificed their lives to india whoever rendering services to india in one field and another and different awards and everything and generally republic day stand for that innumerable awards both the gallantry public service social service will be announced okay or announced during this period so overall when you say this is concerned a total of 1132 personnel of the police fire service home guard civil defense correctional services okay have been awarded this gallantry awards also right and uh, you have the three models you have the president's medal gallantry medals for gallantry only okay that was gm called gallantry medal and the president medal for distinguished service psm medal for meritorious service so 1 2 3 4 variants you will find all these things just keep this information in mind then of course one of the most important thing during this is the announcement of the bharat ratna so who got karpuri thakur of course post mostly okay and uh, is once upon time the chief minister of bihar also though for a brief period and affectionately called as jan naik and uh, at the time you have the scope is there irrespective of your background you can reach the higher columns recognition 
and of course your efforts are very crucial sincere dedicated efforts and leadership and he showed that he represented the society which was hitherto oppressed suppressed and depressed and he dedicated his life for their upliftment and one of the thing when he says mandal commission and all the things came later and he is the one who implemented okay in bihar the reservation for not only the the bc and part is concerned the obc reservation called even for the women at that time 70s itself now women reservation you are talking about at the time itself and that casted him in chair also he is ready to lose his power rather than compromising with the principles because political empowerment is essential but for both economic and social progress that's the thing believed by number of persons especially starting even with the uh, looking from the sambedkar onwards there is reason why the concept of reservations for everyone so why women reservation political empowerment is required okay so once politically empowered they are in a position to take the decision definitely they will do something for the society to that community so you will then you will find both the social and economic progress economic development otherwise just social economic development minus political may or may not have significance it will take long time and that's the first thing believed by cc deserved in a way though a belated recognition of the service and he was very much part of uh, the freedom struggle and uh, quit india movement to this involved as such okay karpuri thakur and in this context try to recognize go back and google it bharat ratna who is the first person received bharat ratna in india and how many foreigners received so far these two questions also represents the issue okay just google it and get try to get the answer next time when asked you should able to say it then of course another thing padma vibhushan this time when two telugu people got it coincident of course nowhere in the right it should not be given but its uh, services of uh, venkaiah naidu garu as well as chiranjeevi chiranjeevi for his contribution in the movies cinema so okay? not as a politician okay <laughs> that is concern so in the field of his art related and uh, for the public affairs the venkaiah naidu so both are in a way in their personal life non controversial and done not their best and venkaiah naidu garu no doubt he belong to a particular political party but he is a public person right uh, rarely he himself landed in any controversy whatever his speech we try to listen to him right is uh, oratory skills are exceptional and uh, some what we call rhythm is there okay he use the word some rhythmatic words okay all the part and i am sure that is very much useful for you once you are writing mains exam or quoting something is concerned and listen to him on any issue speaking is yes, in the way and you will not feel bored okay he combined all rasas in his speech so in that way you can so definitely reserved apart from this is concerned then of course uh, again mala deshwar patak subhanyu so all these things are the others got into this then when it come to the other awards yeah before uh, one more thing also <laughs> mm. 
when you say this padma awards how many let me check into this where is the list this is all 23 oh where is 24 Hmm? Which one? Oh, what's the... Okay, okay. Right. So, after Bharat Ratna, we'll say Padma Bhushan. Vibhushan is the... second highest civilian award right the five and these are all padma bhushans one name you can say this patima bibi this also you have to remember the name of patima bibi in what contest you will remember the patima bibi hmm Who Fatima Bibi? Why so much here? Yeah. First Truman Supreme Court Judge. Okay? Not CJ. First Truman Judge of Supreme Court. Okay? Don't forget that. So sometimes, right, we have to remember certain, certain things. Okay? then uh, in this uh, notion the how the telangana itself how many nearly four or five from telangana padma awards padma shrees hmm there are many not only two in a way my dears and uh, anyhow i'll make it up yeah from taiwan sri ang lu also not only indian right padma shri is also awarded to the others and his contribution to the what okay especially investments in it and when you say the taiwan is a area of dispute right china claiming taiwan taiwan want to be independent even today india not recognize taiwan as an independent country but still we have the cultural relations with taiwan that is diplomatic relation in the form of cultural relations and that is one of the irritant in the india china relations and now that you recognize contribution of some taiwanese to india's development is another contributory irritant to the china isn't it so if we take china factor 
it will be a different issue. But still, we are taking the risk that Foxconn and everything, right? That investment has to be done in this way. Then, uh, so this name, just make note of it. Because a few things, uh, we don't know what sort of the things will appear, right? And glue in the examination. So just be careful on this. Then, uh, it's only here, uh, Padma Sri. The states was not uh, mentioned, right? I thought of the state mentioned, but the, just uh, correct it. And uh, in a way, there are four, five from Telangana or five totally from Telangana and Andhra. I'm just subject to correction, but minimum of four are there from Telangana and one from Andhra. Definitely that will five members are there. Yeah, Ramya mentioned in a five. So in this uh, specifically, the states was not mentioned as the thing is concerned. And uh, similarly, somewhere uh, in this, the name of a foreigner who is given this Padmasri because of uh, her promoting yoga worldwide. She is a French national given the Padmasri. Can you name it? Who is a French national given Padmasri for promoting yoga worldwide? Because yoga considered as an Indian. And uh, because of India's insistence, the United Nations agreed the International Yoga Day, right? Everything is promoted. And one French woman is promoting this a lot. Hmm? Charlotte Chopin, okay? Charlotte Chopin, C H O P A N. Charlotte Chopin got this. Uh, award in this way. So maybe somewhere this Dasar Kondapai here, right? Is our name only. So somewhere that is, okay. Anyhow, just uh, check those things once, okay. All the way, okay. Then, in addition to that, you have the Arjun Awards. Here, one of the speciality in this is that concern, okay? Divya Kirti Singh became the, again, the first Indian woman for equestrian sports. Even sometimes, no, we find it difficult. What is equestrian sport? Horse riding related. So that at least the meaning we need to be aware. Okay? As, again, this is the first time. Okay? And uh, hitherto the horse riding is a men's domain. And proved otherwise, right? It is not the way. Okay, so the plus reach to the higher echelons is not that uh, at the part. So really say the kudos to her as well. So that's a few things about this Republic and others. So a day before 26 John, you have the 25th John, of course, and celebrated as National Otis Day. And there's a democracy, right? Democracy is nothing but rule of the people. And people now exercising their oath. Okay? We call universal adult suffrage. All the citizens above the age of 18 without any discrimination on the basis of race, religion, caste, sex, education, property. doesn't matter. One vote per head. Okay? Will be given. And... Uh, Enrollment is very important. Have you enrolled yourself, all our voters? 
you have what ready three so one in telangana one in andhra where is another <laughs> and no one in nico but good <laughs> anyhow once now aadhar link it's not possible right yeah most of them is enjoying to <laughs> what anyhow let us restrict ourselves but who you are not having first thing is you have to and now that so simple right even at the age of uh, uh, 16 17 also you can apply and that day the moment you crossed 18 you will receive the card and uh, one of the person is my daughter to applied like this so once became i think 6 months before or so she is get eligibility okay the moment she got eligibility immediately election commission forward the card so that shows is working in a way so <laughs> so first enrolling ourselves as an elector is important then later going to the polling booth exercising the oath is also essential no this time no, comparatively better no nota votes are more right good at least they able to say none of the above that is that itself counts is it and there are the few consequences where if the no nota vote is there perhaps the candidate the winning and losing also changes so that make the thing is concerned and this uh, why this 25th john okay mark the foundation of eci election commission of india so previously single member election commission now it is a three member election commission headed by whom who is the chief election commissioner now <laughs> so this all the question should appear and you should able to recollect once you are studying my yes then it will become easy for you okay there's only way of studying this is what we call qualitative study and the moment you pose the question you will get answer google it simple google mata jindabad nothing else to be aware no need to shy or ask somebody if you're not aware okay. so the reason why you said always discussion this sort of things you can make it more things yeah bhavani mentioned asma and other things raju come on and anyhow i think till this election is there after that possibility of change and we have to see that no election commission issue supreme court directions are there whom should be appointed but unfortunately parliament has bypassed it instead of cj another ministry appointed by prime minister is in the panel and now came right cag after the election commission control and or to general appointment and the case was filed on this also and uh, i think somewhere yeah supreme court uh, recently seek center's response on pill alleging cag appointment okay there is an allegation similar case with uh, election commission okay and here this is no proper processes on this and uh, as the cag what we call cag is what is the other name of the cag watchdog of public purse when such an important you required the person of integrity to had that and because of the cag only bofor scam came out because of cag only number of scams not only this even the cold scam everywhere else 
auditing is very crucial so it came out because of that so you have to be answerable for everything isn't it so when that be the case what to do is an important right hitherto appointment done by the president generally a senior ias officers will give in the post no doubt there are the few very crucial persons headed the cag but still allegation there why don't you make it more transparent now appointment which article dealing with cag 148 so that now we have to remember that 148 that is dealing with so go through once again the cag and role of the cag and everything as the issue is that so the similar way now election commission they want that sort of things then of course so uh, one more thing during this period the prime minister initiated the suryodaya yojana okay for rooftop solar power systems in 1 crore households so the target of 40 gigawatts of rooftop solar capacity by 2026 because 2030 is a deadline for us right sustainable developmental goals okay nationally determined goals and these all are there 2030 is a crucial part so this is another way so instead of roof should be made in general let it be so so that you can generate your own power so they are making the contribution on this and uh, india solar capacity is around that what as on december this is 73.31 gigawatts with a rooftop solar with 11.08 so as the demand is more so you have to expand the solar capacity so indian aim is 500 gigawatts of renewable energy by 2030 as that is a very crucial you have to make it so compared to now the progress is there so you have to make it more then of course another the issue much talked about and uh, finally done nearly 500 years after the ram return okay so once upon time he is into the forest right then back okay from so one of us like this now back to so A historical significance it became a mandir issue and uh, here after babri masjid demolition 1996 supreme court entry instead of because the case was referred to the supreme court what to do by the president president asked the advice of supreme court in the beginning which article Hmm? under which article president can seek the advice of supreme court on any matter of fact or importance 143 but supreme court rejected as a politically sensitive issue it rejected and said you can file a case we will give the judgment why any who finally supreme court is saying you no know, what to do what not to do when under article 143 it's only advice advice is an advice and advice you may or may not adhere to choice is there but judgment you have to follow okay judgment you have to follow so finally deliver judgment based on what whom the land belongs to simple legal point it has taken structure forget about first of all whose land it is and once the ownership of the land finalized 
and that person belong to hindu then it becomes a hindu as simple logic as it is okay at the same time it will want to do some natural justice to the muslims and invoked article 142 what is that principles of natural justice and ask the government to allot another 5 acres land elsewhere so that they can construct their mass that's how supreme court resolved the issue in a peaceful manner address legal point now nobody can say anything so if my land you construct it become kabza as simple logic as it is isn't it so once the ownership of the land finalized the issue resolved now they are able to construct their structure according to their will and wish so the ram mandir came and no doubt government because the bjp led bjp itself is hindutva based so it supported a lot a trust was created innumerable funds poured in even at one point just said stop stop the funds still it's there is the part and all these issues are one aspect but one competitive point which i find is the structure okay because i am sure that all the facts and everything is mentioned but this architectural style perhaps is important for you in your examination so nagara style of this architecture and designed by chandrakant sampura and his son ashish okay so it is in nagara style so nagara style is this and i am sure that history students and architecture the culture part you have to be aware and uh, make note of this very much so this originated in the 5th century in the northern india viewed as a language rather than a distinct style see that here it is viewed as language rather than a distinct style. not just style it is language means what you are saying something without saying right it reflects something by looking at what it means okay by showing something you are saying that is a nagara style so originated in a way so it features raised the plinth with a sacred sanctum and its most distinct element the towering shikara representing the natural and cosmological order okay all this in the traditions and some order will be there in this one so is a person okay chandrakant sampura who designed in world but and uh, this characteristics if you look at these are all structures right represent in this concern so overall there are the five modes of <coughs> nagar architecture based on the shikara's appearance ranging from vallabhi and pamsana to the later latina shekari and bhumita so all these are the strains so vallabhi pamsana latina shikara and bhumpija so this sort of possibility which are the following is nagara architecture which are the following is not okay this sort of questions also may appear in our exams so keep that also in mind okay then of course uh, another interesting fact that happened now ayodhya became a touristic spot millions and millions are pouring in and when the tourism yes everybody get benefit out of it even this occasion when you say this all here uh, even in hyderabad all puja samagri whoever the sellers small small sellers onwards they to get benefited of that 
so economical point of view it seems that the business across india surpasses 1.25 lakh crore due to this one then this so small small business also got the boost and most important thing is the tourism so now religious tourism a new concept even buddha was seen okay as a touristic destinations and this sort of the things so let it be so both national international let it be. definitely the employment generation will be done and this sort of tourism will happen the need to get priority always not a foreign even now lakshadweep you will see this one so maldives last week last week we discussed now lakshadweep innumerable people are pouring in even i too got more than 10 calls summer will you join let's go to the lakshadweep in see uh, then the movement is there so previously their destinations are different even within india okay forget about foreign country or going in one way one there is one thing even within india now priority either to just ignored now let's go in vizag let's go to lakshadweep even there the planning like this also the facility all the what so and uh, uttar pradesh itself having 40000 crores of business and small traders trade the maximum benefits so everywhere else you will find it this in a way and uh, casually we have been to one puja samagri cell you know the i will just ask you okay we, I, we don't want figures tell me the ratio so previously for example you are selling one rupee now how much it is one is two the month business and two or surprise he said it is we expected one is to two or one is to 1.5 something like this but he said one is to five <laughs> when the december sale is one january sale is five right so then you can understand the business everywhere so from that point of view it's good in a way then shri keshav parasharan is a advocate who was very much involved in this case argues in favor and finally convinced the supreme court and judgments came in this right this uh, advocates plays a crucial role like basic structure case keshav on the bharati case who played a crucial role what is the name of advocate nani palkewala and actually it is he who coined that word basic structure recognized by judges his son ricard though basic structure aroused in keshavan the bharati case but not on any one particular judge name right but is coined by nani palkewala then the famous constitutional expert and uh, advisable also for you to read his book we the people okay is a what uh, a collection of his number of speeches okay nani palkewala so like this okay in different cases no doubt the contribution of the advocates is very much there and here also the contribution of the parasharan the keshav parasharan is recognizable in this one then as just now i said the supreme court invoked article 142 and made it is principle of natural justice applied and asked the government to allocate five acres of land and it allocated and recently ICF announced the construction of the mosque in Ayodhya itself now the work is on 
they are also constructing the cancer hospital there okay in this five acres along with the marks and that will be the structure and everything part what is iicf means ha huh? mia vandari mention articles right good good ha huh. i i c f indo islamic indo islamic cultural foundation okay indo islamic cultural foundation it is now initiating the construction of masjid uh, mohammed bin abdullah mosque that's the name of the mosque now is masjid mohammed bin abdullah like the ram mandir there it is now mohammed bin abdullah masjid mohammed bin abdullah mma mma so this verdict of uh, 2019 supreme court now they are making okay then another religious issue archaeological survey of india report concludes that it can be said that there existed a large hindu temple prior to construction of existing structure there is a mosque is existing like this so western wall is remaining part of the pre existing hindu temple this is what the western wall and structure can you tell me it refers to what hmm cannot mention any place name here gnan hmm <laughs> okay finally the court has given the permission article survey to go ahead and survey it now it is going to be another issue mask versus masjid hmm mandir masks okay mandir versus masjid of course it is the report uh, is that to made public but it should submitted its report to court now we have to find it is concern okay gnan wapi good yeah bhavani also mentioned in the way gnan g y a n p i gnan wapi okay so let us wait and see the further developments on this issue but hope the best that like i enjoy it will resolve peacefully instead of raising emotions and passions at its sides okay cag already we discuss then another international issue nato again in the new sweden said to become a nato member as turkey approves because either to turkey put an objection now two three days back the turkey parliament approved is so it's going to be so nato expansion is going on north atlantic treaty organization an american led military pact why it very much in the news is russia ukraine war ukraine also wanted to join for which russia has serious objections and that serious objections finally turn into a, a war okay there's a major question if ukraine says will not join war would have stopped immediately you know isn't it but they are saying it's a sovereign country we'll do whatever we like who are you why should we adhere to you okay so let us wait and see again how the turns twists and turns will takes place so we discuss nato in detail right try to recollect what when nato was established where the headquarters of nato how many members are there in the beginning now how many members now with sweden how many how many are prospective shortly getting into all this is okay just 
go through and get things done <clears throat> then another welcome vessel from friendly nations the maldives and chinese spy ship though technically they called it a research vessel but we considered it as a spy rather than a research vessel now that uh, india maldives relations are not cordial we can say okay as some sort of tensions atmosphere going on after the change of government and uh, when it is opposition they say this india out campaign they don't want indian presence in maldives as well and bent it more towards china so when the now the chinese vessel is about to be coming and it's welcoming it but only said later that it will not permit any activity it can stay there and after take brief and breathing or whatever refurbish itself and go and the maldiv said is not permitting any research on this but any hope let us wait and see no doubt it is one of the china factor in india maldives relations and uh, always security threats are there okay so in the guise of research it's conducting the intelligent information related so more of a spy rather than i think is concerned so right now at maldives so it's very near to this india part then of course last when say this uh, rohan lopanna became the world's number one tennis player at the age of 43 so when this all the sports players and everything part is concerned they'll retire even after the mid 30s but he is the one become later so that clearly shows no age bar for anything where the will there is a way right so your determination finally make it so maybe i feel that i put it in the last slide keeping with inspiration for you as well come what may you have to win so when the mindset is like this if not today tomorrow we'll get it so i hope to all the best that you to finally uh, get into your dream service at one point or the other okay right thank you very much so any doubts clarifications Thing. Right. So, see you next week. Bye, bye. Thank you.